Guys, today we're going to talk about SafeMoon, the SafeMoon audit, and a huge problem that's been happening with CoinMarketCap and SafeMoon. So if you're an investor in SafeMoon or you're planning to invest into SafeMoon, then you need to watch the entire video to really understand what's going to happen to this coin in the future. And of course, subscribe to the channel and like this video because I make videos every single day talking about the latest and best altcoins in the crypto world. And check out my Patreon to get exclusive access to my private Discord server where we do talk about all of these altcoins. The link is down in the description. So here you are in Coinbase, let's check out what's been happening to this coin for the last couple of hours and last couple of days. At the one hour chart, we can see there were minus 1% here. The last 24 hours were minus by 5%. In the one week here, we're still minus by 13%. In the one month here, we're still up by 200%. So that's still pretty good. The volume in the last 24 hours is 45.1 million. So it looks like the volume is kind of increasing here. Yeah, it is increasing. It says 45 uh, million, basically 8% per, uh, up. So that's really good, actually. So the fully delivered market cap for this coin is $2.7 billion. It is down by 3%. So if you do go at the chart here, we can see that pretty much we did rebound all the way back to where we were before so good things are happening but as you can see we are still here down at 0 0.000489 and we were back here if we do if we do look at this area we were all the way to 0 0.000546 so we still need a little bit of increase i still think that's like 10 percent or something like that yeah still 10 percent increase if we want to reach this level again so hopefully we do and hopefully that this coin will be able to continue to go up right now so the biggest problem in having with this coin is look at this so if we look at the analysis basically the biggest problem is the amas we just made a giant bearish cross here so but it's at the one hour chart so this is a giant bearish cross where uh, if we continue like this the value should continue to go down but a really good thing that's been happening as you can see here is that we're pretty close here to making another cross so we just need those 10 percent more and then we're gonna see a bullish cross and then we're going to see a bullish cross, which should indicate that this coin should be able to continue to go up. But if we go to the 4-hour chart, we still have a big problem. We are still in the giant bearish cross. So, this is a giant bearish cross that happened at the yeah, 35th of April, basically. And now, ever since then, we are still in this cross. But look at here, we're slowly, we're super close here to breaking through. We're super close to making a giant difference here and making this coin go bullish, basically. If we do cross with these two lines. So these two lines need to cross one more time here. And then we're going to be in a super bullish cross. And this is exactly the thing that we need right now. If we want safe moon here to continue to send newer, higher values. So if we do take the Fibonacci track, we can actually see all of the levels here that are gonna trouble us in the future. Let me just take the Fibonacci retract from here. It should be right over here. Basically, if we go from here to here, you can see all of the crucial levels that need to get past too. And as you can see, we got rejected here. So we got rejected at the 0, 0.000, I can't even see the numbers because it's only 50 something. Yeah, it should be 50, yeah, 52. So that's the number here we are getting rejected. Hopefully this time we will be able to break through to this number and continue to go up basically. We have to see, we have to be patient. Like a lot of people still need to invest and then the coin will continue to go up. We're seeing that the volume is increasing. So that is still pretty good. A lot of people are buying. So uh, of course it's not the same as here, but as you can see, we are kind of always going up here. So that's still pretty good. People are still investing into this coin. And a really good thing about this coin right now is that the RSI is still super down. So stabilization for the RSI is pretty good. We're still at 51 points and we can reach all the way to here. So that's like 80, no, 70 points here. But if we do look at the all-time high, we can go all the way to 93. So we have a lot of room here. I mean, super, a lot of room here to continue to grow and make this coin be something great in the future. But for now, we are still stabilizing. We're just waiting to hear some really good news from the coin here. If we do continue here, I want to talk about the Certic Audit. But first, before that, I want to show you guys what happened here. If you didn't know, we, should, we all should celebrate because the Certic Audit has been completed and its official statement has, audited, has been audited and we passed the test. Everything is okay with the coin. Whoa. 470k views here on this video 30,000 likes and almost 11,000 retweets here so that's amazing to see if people do not understand what a certic audit is basically there's a company called certic that did check the code so the code the programmer's code for for this coin here safe one basically and they checked the, the code and it should be okay so we had some we had a little bit of problems but 
in general, it was pretty much okay. So we're gonna read here what those kind of problems were and if and if it, and if it is something that we should worry about. It says here, the Certic Safe Moon Audit results. The Certic Audit found a total of 13 issues. This breaks down to zero critical issues, one major issue, one medium issue, four minor issues, and seven informational issues. According to the audit, the one major issue has to deal with centralized risk in the ad liquidity function. Certic K says that over time, the owner address will accumulate a significant portion of the liquidity pool tokens. If the owner is an extremely owned account, Certic says the entire project could face big consequences. One thing to note is that half of the 10% seller fee goes into liquidity pool as things stand. As Certic K puts it, because the owner address currently stands to accumulate a portion of the liquidity pool, this means that the owner address would, will be collecting a portion of the forfeit co tokens. To address this, Certic K recommends restricting management of the liquidity pool tokens. It also recommends improving privileges and roles to make them more decentralized. Additionally, Certic K says that SafeMoon could adopt smart contract based accounts with features like multi signature wallets. These are uh, wallets that require two or more keys to sign and send transactions. Uh, Certic K says that SafeMoon introduced a DAO governance voting model to make the process more transparent and less risky. In response, SafeMoon says that its founding structure makes it unique from other projects, which is pretty true. And more specifically, it says that it is less likely to commit a rug pull scam because of the legal liabilities its founding team faces. Uh, SafeMoon also says, We have publicly expressed our goals and intentions of why we will retain custody of the contract. The functions allow additional control for the SafeMoon team to make continued strategic plays in regards to long-term growth of the community and the project here. So I want to just talk about this part here where you talked about DAO governance and voting. This is a really good idea. So basically what this means is people who are holding SafeMoon will be able able to vote on the future of SafeMoon, some, on some big projects and on some really cool ideas. So that's a pretty good idea, I think it's going to show us a lot of transparency and plus it's going to have, we're going to have a lot more engagement and the community is going to feel like they are actually doing something. So that's pretty cool here if they can implement a DAO governance voting system. That's going to be pretty cool here. Now if we do continue, we want to show you guys some interesting things here. So first things here, it says SafeMoon is going to explode and here is why. A co-worker was talking about Dodge today and mentioned SafeMoon. Three to four more co-workers gathered around once I mentioned I figured out how to buy. You see, they all wanted to buy but was being blocked by BNB or just weren't able to buy in general. When SafeMoon hits, retail investors on Robinhood, Webull, etc. What Dodge is doing right now will seem like child's play. We will be sipping hot chocolate on the moon. So yeah, this is the biggest problem now with SafeMoon. So so many people do want to invest, but they don't know how, or it's just too complicated. And that's the biggest reason we're not seeing too much growth right now. So because it's super complicated for people to buy the coin, basically that's why they're not buying. But as soon as somebody does explain to them, they want to buy. So so many people want to buy, but just don't know how. And that's a huge problem we see for this coin. But this problem should be solved in later in the future because Eddie because being added on more exchanges will help this coin to grow basically it says here somebody posted oh yeah that's how our shop was one guy bought and we and then we all figured it out and bought in this was last month and we all holding strong so basically i'm, tell I'm telling you guys so many people just don't know how to do it the same thing happened at my job i was talking about safe for like uh, four straight days two weeks ago I frustrated because I wanted to buy but couldn't figure out how. My assistant manager figured it out last Thursday and 5 other people including me bought in. I'm currently sitting around 35 million coins best I can do with the, this economy and the other people bought a similar amount. This ain't going to the moon, this coin is going to give Pluto a long deserved hug. That's a pretty cool thing here. So people just don't know how to buy and once somebody does figure out how to buy then they show everybody here how to do it. And like I said that's the biggest problem because people when they see that they can't do something pretty easy they're just not gonna do it. So what we need is basically people to be able to just press one button and buy the coin. When we see something like that what SafeMoon does enable something like, something like that then and only then we're gonna see huge amounts of increase because people will be it'll be so much easier for people to buy that the coin so if you do continue here we still have a kind of problem that, that's been happening here so looks like coin market cap is not showing the true value of the coin here it's not uh, ranking it at the listings so that's the biggest problem and people are just super mad about this so the community is just super mad about this the coin market cap is not helping this coin to be to show the true value of the coin basically it's it should be listed i think it's like 42nd place or something like that 
but it's just not listed anywhere because if we do look at here, at safe, when you can see the market cap, it's just two lines here. So because of that, you're not seeing the true value of the coin and real investors are not seeing the coin and that's the biggest problem right now. So a lot of people are pretty angry. So if you do read the response of uh, CoinMarketCap, you can see, hello, thank you for bringing this to our attention. We have received a lot of requests Inquiries regarding SafeMoon today and our dev team is already checking on it as we speak. Let us give them time to check and fix this correct uh, concern. We totally appreciate this. Thanks to Sincerely, CoinMarketCap. So it looks like they are trying to fix it, but we're going to see how long will it take for them to, to do it. Because it should be able to be fixed super easy. Like so many coins, you can see their market you can see their market cap and everything. But it looks like for SafeMoon, you just can't see it. So maybe that's a huge problem. But if we could continue here, this is something really important that this person did tell us. So we really have to read this uh, post here. It will help the future of this coin. It says here, I love this community, but some of y'all are shooting all of us in the foot. So the bitterness some members of this community have towards Binance and other crypto communities is entirely destructive. SafeOne is a coin for everyone, and we need it to be accessible to everyone to succeed. The more friends we have, the better. I'm sure the SafeOne exchange will be great, but saying we don't want our, or need Binance is is a sign in. For those of you saying, but Binance has been unfair to us, no, they haven't. As, as a community, our world revolves around SafeMoon. Binance doesn't. Yeah, they haven't listed us yet. There are a lot of up and coming cryptos to keep track of on top of everything else. The coin is two months old. Chill out. Plenty of young cryptos collapse or have the rug pull at this stage, and it reflects poorly on Binance to list such projects. Do I think that's gonna happen to SafeMoon? Of course not. But it makes sense that they want to be prudent and see that the token is stable. And for those who are saying Binance has it out for us because we are a competitor, this is just plainly ridiculous. We operate on the Binance chain. We give them a hefty chunk of every transaction. If anything, we are a huge ally to Binance and they have every reason to wish for our success because we make them money and bring customers. I know there have been problems with listings and with not, but saying that's malicious on Binance and doesn't add up at all. I understand people want to maintain momentum and keep the coin growing, but if you get super aggressive with people because they don't make us the center of the tension you will you will do more harm than good thanks for coming to my tech talk love all your astronauts so pretty cool here not gonna lie but this person is pretty much right so Binance is getting a lot of things from safe one here and the biggest problem like safe one is just super new coin it's like 70 days or a little bit more now maybe like 75 days old so Binance has to be sure that safe one is a real coin and everything's going to be good and the way we show Binance the SafeMoon is really good coin is because of the audit, it's because of the all the things they're doing right now, the SafeMoon wallet, the SafeMoon exchange, and people are just holding the coins. So it's going to take some time for this coin to be listed on Binance because Binance wants to be sure that SafeMoon is here to stay and that's it. Because it's a super early coin, they have to wait it out and see if the people here from SafeMoon, the people who are holding SafeMoon, will continue to hold the coin and be really with safe one here but guys i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to invest into this coin please do your own research first what do you guys think about safe will this coin continue to go up will it go down what is your future price prediction for this coin here if you did enjoy this video it means so much to me if you can like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video